Heidelberg Cement Group, majority owners of Gassam Limited, has once again demonstrated its unalloyed commitment to reclaim lands after mining activities for reuse by the indigenes and also promote biodiversity. The second edition of the Quarry Life Award is targeted at erasing the impression that mining activities destroy the natural habitat and kill animals like birds and reptiles as well as plants. Five students from various public universities in Ghana pursuing programs in ecology, landscape architecture, geology and land reclamation have been selected to propose ideas that will enable Gassem Limited through its subsidiary West Africa Quarries Limited reduce the effect of mining activities at the Abeposo and Yongwa mining sites. Ruben Dansuminta is a student of University of Mines and Technology, Takwa, and his research project is aimed at protecting communities from quarry dust using elephant grass as a dust barrier. He said the project will not only help control the effect of dust, but also promote biodiversity and increase the animal and insect species in and around a quarry. Ruben, who is working at the Yongwa mining site, said the QLA has been an eye-opener for him. You know, we have various issues with dust. Okay. Um, mining in itself produces a whole lot of dust which affects humans, the environment and the community as a whole. Okay? So our project is aimed at reducing or at least um, minimizing the effects of dust on the community and also improving biodiversity on the mining quarry even though mining is going on. So our main project is basically helping the community improving biodiversity. Melissent Afi Amekugbe and her team's project seek to promote edge species which will be used to assess impact on species succession and eventually serve as a success of reclamation. This, she said, would be achieved by planting vetiver to stabilize the soil and also prevent erosion. Melissent is working at the Yongwa mining site and had a bad perception about quarries before the contest but that perception has changed thanks to the Quarry Life Award. There's a lot of erosion going on in this place and for other plants to be able to grow well in the soil, the soil has to be stabilized. And we chose vetiver plants out of the lot to stabilize the soil. With the QLA, I've been able to practice what I have learned in school. And also, I have been able to learn from others. Kwesibwe Dun Tiamwa, a student of the University of Mines and Technology, Takwa, whose research is at the Biposu Mining site, noted that his project is aimed at converting wasted organic food into powerful compost that has the power to restore the soil fertility at any quarry site during reclamation and also to promote biodiversity by using worm species. This, he observed, would create employment for those who collect the garbage to be used to make the soil fertile. He said the QLA has increased his level of knowledge about waste management and obtained practical experience with respect to reclamation activities. QLA has actually increased my level of knowledge about waste management, about waste characterization. The geological engineer was not taking those factors into consideration about land reclamation activities, about the threshold of soil nutrients that we should have. You know, I didn't even know that the soil nutrient must uh, reach a certain threshold. And most of the uh, poisons, something like arsenic and cadmium. But because of QLA, I've been able to assess all those things and I've got practical know-how of land reclamation activities. Bridget Akpagli is a student of the Cape Coast University and her project intends to restore degraded quarry site with Alconia codifolia, a Pania plant species, which is also of medicinal value. The aim of her project, according to her, is to promote the cultivation of Alconia codifolia for the ecological and socio-economic restoration of degraded land at the Peposu Quarry. This, she observed, would restore vegetation, recreate habitat, and provide food for local wildlife in order to improve ecological productivity, biodiversity conservation, and also to empower local people on its medicinal uses and other importance to improve human livelihoods. She admitted that the QLA has broadened her horizon. I had no idea about quarries reclaiming the lands they've used. I thought after they had bought the land or made any plans for mining, they just mine whatever they want from it and then leave the land bare. By participating in Quarry Life Award project, I have come to realize that companies like Gassem, they don't just uh, mine the rocks from the soil and then leave it bare, but have the intention of reclaiming it to support biodiversity. Utua Champombwache, who is a postgraduate from the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, said his project explores the option of applying compost to reclaim contaminated land at the Yongwa quarry site in Ghana. 
According to him, he and his team members seek to leverage the opportunities provided by composting to help manage organic waste in surrounding villages while applying the compost product to rehabilitate degraded soil for revegetation as well as influencing the ecosystem at the quarry site in several positive ways. Utuwe Champo Mwachi couldn't hide his joy with regards to the benefits he has derived from participating in the QLA. As part of the project, we were supposed to have a stakeholder meeting with the, um, the people in the community. Um, when I went there, the interaction with the people made me realize that I'm making good use of my science. And who gave me the opportunity? The Quarry Life Award program that gave me the opportunity to interact with these people who are out there teaching them how to prepare compost. It was so fun when I was there, when I was with them. I enjoyed it so much because it was a dream come true for me. And so this uh, program has actually given me the chance to come out with what was hidden deep within me. A jury member who doubles as a senior lecturer conservation biologist at the University of Ghana, Dr. Erasmo Sousu, said the Quarry Life Award has brought creativity and innovation which would go a long way to enhance biodiversity recovery. He commended GASM for the commitment it has shown to ensuring that the used lands are not left unattended to after mining activities and charge other corporate bodies to emulate. Wherever you disturb the system, the natural balance has been distorted. And getting the original natural balance is not, if I should use that word, possible. But at least we should aim at making a recovery. That will get us to a certain level that we will still be able to depend on the natural systems because we depend on natural systems. So whoever is carrying out these operations, let's aim that at the end of the day we are involved in recovery. Another jury member, Yao Kwachi, a manager in charge of climate change at the Forestry Commission, said the second phase of the Quarry Life Award, apart from stimulating and motivating young scientists, also addresses critical issues the country is grappling with, especially waste management. He expressed optimism that the research by the contestants would go a long way to promote biodiversity and protect used lands for reuse by community members. For the five, I consider almost all of them as uh, projects that are people-centered. These are very interesting uh, projects that actually touch lives. And uh, for me, that is the way um, research should go. Research that is of practical use to everyday uh, life situations and actually can be life-changing. The Quarry Life Manager, Kwabna Labiado, indicated that successful project proposals would be implemented as part of the company's reclamation efforts. He added that there is eagerness and enthusiasm on the part of community members for the research to be commercialized. So to us in Kassem, the, the Quarry Life Award project is a very good and notable project. And it's a project where it has given rise to unique ideas about biodiversity. It's also an opportunity for our students to meet the community, explain to them what research is about, explain to them the value of the research they are doing. Because at the end of the day, we want to create linkages between the community, the quarries and the research. Nobu Baini is the plant manager at the West Africa Quarries Limited and he believes the Quarry Life Award demonstrates responsibility, integrity and commitment on the part of GASM to promote biodiversity. He was enthused about the various proposals by the contestants. Every mining and quarry operation has impact on the environment. We at Gassam and Waco um, and the group HC do not want to impact upon the environment and then walk away like that. I'm highly impressed with uh, the kind of research the research researchers have been doing and um, it's amazing not just the biodiversity value of the research but I'm also looking at the socioeconomic value of it as well.